Of all the Eastern churches, the Maronite Church is the only one which is entirely Catholic, which has always remained faithfully united to the See of Rome. This community, founded by St. Maron, is related to the Syriac tradition of Antioch. Maron lived near Antioch in the late 4th century. One of the statements of the Council of Chalcedon in 451 divided the Christian churches. Some argued monophysism, that in Christ human nature was absorbed by his divine nature, and others held along with the council that Christ had two natures, human and divine. Cities and villages were divided. Because of these divisions, Marun left the city. He settled in the mountains as a hermit, but later returned to live with his people, inspiring followers who, little by little, became the first nucleus of the Maronite church. After his death in 410, his disciples continued his mission, until they began to be persecuted by the Monophysites and the Muslims in the 9th century. At that time, they took refuge in the mountains of Lebanon and established a true Maronite nation. Since 1790, the patriarch, named Peter in honor of the Apostles' ministry in Antioch, has maintained his residence in Bekerke, 25 kilometers north of Beirut, the Lebanese capital. Today, the Maronite church has 23 dioceses and two vicariates in Lebanon and Syria, as well as in other regions of the world, such as Argentina and Australia. The Maronite church, whose believers are estimated at just over 3 million, celebrates the liturgy in Arabic, with the exception of old songs and traditional Eucharistic prayers, which are in Aramaic. Historical documents are unable to prove the rather stable presence of the Maronites in the Holy Land before the Crusade era. The number of Maronites who took part in the reconquest of Jerusalem by the Crusaders is also unknown. What historians affirm with certainty is the entry of thousands of Maronites into the Knights of St. John in Jerusalem, Acre and Cyprus. And according to the Armenian historian Ayatun, in 1320 the Maronites are one of the largest Christian communities in Jerusalem. We cannot discuss the presence of the Maronites in the Holy Land without mentioning the Franciscans. Related to their presence since the 14th century, the Maronite community is somehow equated with the Franciscans, celebrating in their churches, at the altars and with their liturgical vestments. For the great feasts of Christmas and Easter, many Maronites flock to Jerusalem, welcomed by the Friars Minor. Maronites have served as interpreters, lived in the Franciscan convent of Mount Zion, and others have regularly taken an active part in all the celebrations of the various shrines. It has generally been a very close cooperation, marked by mutual respect and trust. The first Maronite church was built in 1771 in Nazareth, but the number of Maronites in the Holy Land declined, with many having chosen to adopt the Latin rite, something which continues today. In 1895, the future patriarch Archbishop Elias Hoyek bought a former German hospital in Jerusalem along with its land. A patriarchal vicariate under the Diocese of Tire in South Lebanon, with jurisdiction extending over the Maronites in Jordan, was created for the occasion in April of the same year. However, 44 years later, in 1939, this post was removed. It would be another 37 years before it would be restored. And 20 years later, in 1996, the Patriarch created a diocese that covers the territory of the State of Israel, with headquarters in Haifa, because of the political problems in Lebanon. The Maronite Bishop lives in Jerusalem, near the Jaffa Gate, and leads a community of 8,000 faithful, mostly present in Galilee. Another important aspect of the physical presence and active participation of the Maronite Church in the Holy Land is its strong support of the Catholic community since the restoration of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem in 1847. The support and solidarity with the Universal Church, which reveals its Catholic aspect and its remarkable spirit of adaptation, is one of its traditional hallmarks. Since its beginning, the Maronite Church has always maintained its tie with the Universal Catholic Church, while retaining its identity as Eastern Syrian of Antioch. It was with the arrival of the Crusades in 1099 that the Maronites came out of their isolation and renewed relationships with the West and Rome. Though impeded under the dominion of the Mamluks, the relationship started again in the mid-15th century and intensified under the Ottoman regime with the support of the kings of France. Good relations continued thanks to the Franciscan missionaries, 
But the Maronites also built relationships with the Jesuits, Capuchins, Carmelites, Vincentians, and subsequently with various female religious orders. Various factors and historical events consolidated these relationships, and in 1584 a new step was taken with the creation of the Maronite School in Rome, one of the first seminaries in the city. Finally, the most recent tangible sign of this bond was Benedict XVI's authorization to place a statue of St. Maroon inside St. Peter's Basilica, in commemoration of the 16th century of the saint's death. في قدس الحب زرعوا الحب في الحقل الخصب يا عنقودا خمره دم معطاء يجنو الروح سره نعم السخاء هل ليلو يا الام العذراء